And we're live here at ACC 15 in San Diego. My name is Shashank Sinha, fellow in training from the University of Michigan. I have the distinct honor and privilege to have with us Dr. Mike Valentine, who's treasurer of the college, as well as a member of the Board of Trustees. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Dr. Valentine? Doing great. I'm glad to be here with you guys and the FITs and all the great things that you guys are doing. Well, it's certainly been a wonderful ACC 15. Uh, what have you enjoyed most about this year's scientific sessions as, as particularly it pertains to FITs and early careers? Well, I think we had some incredibly exciting news today for FITs in that uh, for the first time ever, we're developing non-clinical competency training for our FIT and our training programs. And I think through the work of Eric Williams and the COCATS developers, uh, we are finally starting to look into what our fellows need other than the classic clinical competencies. And so things like leadership development, uh, systems management, uh, quality, turning quality data into real life clinical care, uh, these are incredibly exciting. You know, looking at Lean Six Sigma, uh, which fellows don't even know how to deal with, and looking at practice types and development. I think all these things are going to be very exciting uh, for our uh, FIT and early career development. Thank you, sir. Um, and could you comment a little bit about the uh, leadership opportunities within the ACC for fellows in training, particularly at the ACC Leadership Forum, where you teach a wonderful course on crucial conversations? Yes, the, the Leadership Forum, which happens every January, is a great opportunity for not only FIT leaders, but early career leaders to come in. So we've had wonderful opportunities there for training, and we're also talking about today this, the Cardiovascular Summit, which is going to take place next February in Las Vegas. And the Cardiovascular Vasker Summit uh, teaches all of these non-clinical competencies that we're talking about, and we actually have FIT uh, fellowships available through the chapters and through other uh, ways. Uh, this past year, we had almost 10 FITs there at the summit, and the things that they learned were just amazing. They described them as the best conference I've ever been to. So I think not only through the leadership forum for our leaders, uh, but also through the CV Summit, I think we have incredible opportunities for FITs to learn more than heart failure and aortic stenosis and coronary disease. I just think these are incredible opportunities, and we live in a very complex world now, and if we're not training our fellows in these competencies, they're going to be lost when they enter the real world. Wonderful. And finally, it was truly a pleasure to have you um, during a meet and greet in our FIT lounge yesterday. Can you comment a little bit about your reflections on that experience? Well, you know, I just happened to walk by and see Scott Lilly and you guys, and uh, they were having a, a forum on, on job opportunities and, and what types of jobs fellows would be going into, whether they're academic, integrated, or private practice. And we talked about the skills that you need to do well in interview situations and the skills that you need to prepare you for the next job that you're looking for. And it was an exciting opportunity to look and talk about different skills and the things that you need when you're looking, when you're in that job search. Everybody's going to be looking for a job no matter whether you're staying in academics or leaving. And the negotiation skills, the types of things that you offer, the things that you say in your interviews, and how you present yourself are critically important to your next job. Well, thank you so much for your time, sir. It's truly a pleasure. And for more videos, check out youtube.com slash fits on the go.